Greetings, Commanders. If you ever wish your uh, expeditions felt more like a real science mission, today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using SRV Survey. It's going to be a free plugin that upgrades your Elite Dangerous Planetary Explorations, but on top of that, you don't actually have to be in an SRV for it to matter. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different than the other plugins that we've covered on the channel. We have a official sign build available through the Windows Store. It's going to be updated a lot less often, but it has a higher quality. Or you can go with the GitHub route and it's going to download updates way more frequently, but it's not going to be as high quality. Either way works. How do you download it through GitHub? How do you download it through GitHub? Well, all you have to do is head down to the description, head to the link that's listed, click on the GitHub releases. It's going to take you to this page and literally every single one, you just have to click on any of them. And where it says SRV survey zip, all you have to do is download it and unzip it. Or you can go the Windows Store route and just type in literally SRV survey and it'll take you here. Now, why would you want another plugin on your computer? Well, we're going to show you some of the screenshots real quick. So as you see, whenever they're going for bacterium, it'll actually list what it is. And it has like a little mini display. For anyone curious, this actually does work with ED Observatory as well. One of the coolest features though, in my opinion, is going to be the colonization. So it's going to be able to keep track of exactly what you're trying to buy for your colony that we're not having to mess around with a whole bunch of notepads. That's a really cool feature. It'll be able to calculate the estimated value of each different world. Now, in my opinion, the GitHub actually shows a little bit better pictures when it comes to the Guardian site. So we want to swap back over here. So there's a couple really cool things that it does. It helps you align to get a proper view of the Guardian site. So Usually you might just go down to the Guardian site and you just see it as what it is. This application is going to allow you to align properly in the space. That way you can actually get a full like proper view of what the Guardian structure is. It's not just like some random pylons all around. It's actually like a really cool intricate crop circle. So for the ease of use, we're going to be showing the SRV survey through the Windows Store. So literally all you have to do is click Git. Click on Play. SRV survey needs to make one time update, which we'll restart now. All right, so how do you actually set up SRV survey? Well, click on the settings. And from here where it says no preference, you can select your commander name. You can have your overlay capacity. You can have the window scale, primary color, secondary color. And set the different focuses whenever you want it to be running. As you guys can see, it pops up the exact system that we're in, shows that we're currently in deep space, we're in the Mandalay, we're flying, exploration trip counter, it shows us our estimated value, scan bodies, and let's see your predictions. All right, so inside of the general settings, make sure it's pointed to the correct journal folder. It should automatically grab everything you need. And now, as you notice, whenever we're inside of our map, this is where it's mainly going to be a hindrance, like. Usually during normal gameplay, it's not too bad. So it'll be down there in like the bottom left. It's relatively easy to see. But right here in this screen, it's going to be blocking our way. Well, how do we fix that? Well, let's go back inside the plugin here. Then where it says adjust to active overlay positions. Choose an overlay. And galaxy map. You're not going to be able to drag it. But you should be able to center it to the right, for example. So now instead of it being right on top of all the words, it'll actually be moved so you can see. You can also change the capacity. So if you want to, and if you want to make it dull, you can override the capacity and put it at like 25%. That way it's not like too in your face, but it's still showing you roughly estimate there. Now this is where you can sort of toggle like the different things that you might find more useful or not. If you don't want to see like this exclusion zones, so you can literally just Turn it off. You can also have the auto add tracker location when composition scanning. Auto remove, like literally everything is toggleable. So if there's some things that you think is really cool and other things that you just don't want because you think it's like too much, you can literally just toggle it on and off. Screenshots, you can have it set so it goes to a certain location. Exploration, you can say like the system names, external data. We have like star body types. Everything's going to be linked together through Spanch. We have settlements. Looks like this is going to be more of an experimental feature though. So keep that in mind. It's not always going to be a guaranteed. 
but it might be more useful for like trying to farm up for our ground site upgrades. They have a whole bunch of different like hotkeys that you're able to set up. So how does this actually look like in practice? Well, let's jump over to another system and we'll see how well it's actually accurately able to predict data. Now, as soon as we go to jump, it'll show the exact amount of distance. So if we were going much further, it would actually be able to have a more up-to-date track for us. The cool thing is if you're going for a long plotting session, like from the Neutron Plotter, it'll actually be able to keep track of everywhere that you're supposed to be needing to go to. Now, just like Observatory, you're going to notice that it's not going to have any data inside the system because we haven't honked and used the FSS yet. So we need to do that for us to get any information from the plugin itself. And for everyone curious, this one does work with Observatory. But we're going to be focusing on SRV survey. But next exploration stream will be showing both off in the exact same time. There we go. So we found a world with the um, biological. So we'll actually be able to test that in game and show you guys exactly what it is. So if you're out exploring into the unknown, basically you're looking for this exact scenario where it just says first discovered by. That means someone used their FS scanner, scanned the world and just kept on moving. So it looks like this world theoretically has three biological life forms. However, you're going to notice that it has a little bit more than three over on the side there. Basically, it's giving you a rough estimate of what they think is a possible opportunity inside the world. Now, can SRV technically do everything you want instead of having to run it with observatory? Yes. So to see exactly where our signatures were, click on predictions. This is going to pop up the page and usually it'll be minimized. You can click the plus sign to open everything up so you can see exactly where everything is. So for example, this world for D2 is going to have three different signals, but you're going to notice something a little odd. It's going to list more than three different life forms. That's because it's a prediction. So it's going to theoretically have all of these on that planet based on the makeup of the planet itself. So it doesn't necessarily have to have the tectonicas. It could just have tubus, the concha in bacterium, or it could have stratum to sick in bacterium. It can have literally any combination. It's just trying to be a little bit of prediction for you. The only way to have a surefire guarantee is to head over to that exact planet and scan it. And as you see, this world has bacterium, stratum, and frutexia. Oh, so that's interesting. So it actually claimed it failed to predict one of the specimen. And also, if you head back over to SRV survey, I guess it actually has no data for the one that's actually listed. Huh. Now, keep in mind, if you're out exploring, you can swap to combat mode and see if it's the day side or not. As you see, it's the night side, so you might want to go over to the other side, especially when it's something that shows us it's found literally everywhere. Now, why would you want to have like a mix of plugins? Well, it looks like this one does not actually update when you find something weird. So, for example, it's only predicting a 20.01 million reward. It would at least be 22 million based on the fact that the Frutexi would be worth a million roughly, same with the Bacterium. So it looks like when there's something that it doesn't actually suspect, it won't update itself. Also, now that we're on foot, there's more things you can do inside the settings area here. So I did notice that it actually was talking about specific suits. I don't think Artemis is one of the suits that you could toggle though. Yeah, so you get to save it when on foot in the Maverick suit or Dominator suit. Awesome, we have the first footfall too. So I guess we'll just disable both of those. That way it's only whenever we're inside the Artemis suit. Now, just like the previous plugin, it's not actually calculating the data for a first footfall. So it'll be about 95 million for this specific one. So it shows it's the stratum tectonica is green and it shows we need to go about 500 away. So let's go ahead and toggle the exclusion zones. That way we can just see what it is. All right. So there'll be a big giant red circle 
Okay, so we just need to get anywhere outside of that circle where we should then theoretically start seeing things. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I think I'll probably go without having that bar on the right side. But having the information down there in the bottom corner to see exactly what you should be going for. That's pretty cool that we can keep track of like how much biological life forms are on each different planet. Now, if you guys are curious what it looks like once you did everything, you'll come over here on the side here. It has a yellow check mark signifying that you found everything. It does have the bacterium list, but once again, it's still not going to be able to predict everything. So that's why I would use both the plugins and not just rely on one over the other. Apparently it does track first footfall. I forgot to click the check mark, so that was my bad. And it does actually have the updated value calculating what it would be. Now, this video is focusing on SRV survey, but I want to show that they both work in conjunction with each other. So for example, we have the exact same system we're in. This one has it, so it, there's a couple different predictions on what currently should be found inside of this world. However, you're going to notice that observatory does update and actually keeps track of what would be on the planet. So for example, the Frutexia is something that SRV survey said shouldn't be here, but it actually was. So this is going to allow us to actually have a little bit more detail when it comes to that. So you might be thinking that it's only worth like 20.6 million or whatever it said. Technically this system's worth 21.64 since the Frutexia should be selling roughly for 1.63 million. So it does have like a little bit better data when it comes to that for observatory. However, SV survey does do a really nice job of having a pretty interactive hub with everything else. And once again, you can literally like, let's say you didn't like this exclusion zone thing, just turn it off. The thing I'm most excited for, honestly, though, is the guardian sites. Cause I think that'll be really cool to see like a proper way of getting like the guardian sites explored. And you can also show the DSS and skip like gas giants, DSS and rings. Like you can literally toggle all these different things on. So it is very customizable to your own needs. And special thanks to the commanders that recommended me this plugin on the live stream. Now, one quick note. Let's say we found like some planet that had like a really cool hidden information fact sheet or something on the planet itself. If you click on this travel, you can target by lat and longitude. So if we actually had a target, we could mark it exactly on the planet and it would actually take us there. That's pretty cool. I don't know how often we would ever utilize this feature, but if you ever had like something hidden that you were able to go to, consider doing that as well. But that's literally it for the full SRV setup. Whether you're picking up the fastest updating GitHub build or the uh, optimized Microsoft Store version, SV survey works perfectly with ED Observatory. So let me know what you guys think. Do you just want to use the SRV survey and skip Observatory altogether? Or do you want to use them in conjunction together? I will see you guys in the next one, Commanders. Hopefully, this guide helps you figure this, out, this plugin, and I'll see you guys in the next one.